What's up everybody? Jakey Crack Outdoors here and uh, today what we're doing is we're gonna do 10 miles of this river here. Uh, right here I'm waiting on my uh, my ride up river. Uh, I got everything to go. I'm leaving my truck here and I'm getting a ride 10 miles up and I'm floating back down. Uh, I'm expecting it to take me about eight hours. Hopefully we get into some bigger fish. Uh, past couple days I've been getting into I've been getting into them, but they've been smaller, so I haven't really been putting any videos up. But uh, that one day I had here, man, was killer, and uh, I just want to duplicate that day one more time. So uh, I think this might be my ride. So let me get back to you. All right, guys. So here we are. We made it up. We're at the where my launch. Um, I said it was about 20, 10 miles, and uh, the guy from the shuttles tell me it's closer to uh, closer to 12. Uh, talked up the river pretty good, so but ain't like I I didn't know what I was getting into. So I'm excited. I'm pumped actually. Um, got the kayak all set up. Long term mode. Um, the seat I made the seat up yesterday I don't know if I'm gonna get that video up or not but I made this seat up yesterday it's just some uh, some insulation board cut in there and uh, when I get my fit my big butt in there it uh, holds it real nice and comfortable and steady um this is my makeshift anchor uh, it's just an emergency trouble uh, shovel I had in my truck so um, I should be able to anchor it today. Yesterday was a little rough. The current was moving pretty good yesterday, and I almost sunk this anchor in. Um, there's no way I'd be able to anchor in anything this quick, but um, when I get downstream and hit some slack water and try to concentrate on some holes, I'll definitely be gonna be anchoring to do some slight casting, so stay tuned. I don't know if you guys seen that, but there was a muskrat right over there. I haven't got a fish, but it takes a minute. Bouncing between the jig and the eye. Uh, white spinner bait right now. All right, I'll get back to you. All right, guys. So what I'm finding is this uh, supper section has a. Uh, some more rapids than I expected. Um, I'm really hoping the water slows down here a little bit. It's been a fast, it's been fast. Um, I really don't even think I could anchor here. It's just going too good. Um, And I'm through the holes before I know it. Bam. Like, you know what I mean? Still bouncing between the tube and the uh, spinner bait. And uh, I'm only recording right now because there's a high probability of me looking like an idiot. So if I'm going to be miserable and uh, pissed off, I might as well at least record it, right? But I think we're through it. Well, let's see what happens around this curve. It looks like I got a slower stretch of water here. Uh, I think I'm going to stick to the right bank. Looks a little shallower. But we might have a creek or something coming in on the left. I don't know. It's a beautiful day. Now, if we could just get some fish on the boat, it'll happen.
All right, guys, we got our first fish. No, uh, we had him. I was having all kind of issues with that fish. My reel was coming up, messing up. My raw was tangled. I was trying to do everything at once, but um, damn it. I'll get back to you. I gotta fix this. All right, I'm recording because if I don't get a fish off of this rock, there's no fish here. Oh man, I would have never thought that. All right, guys, I'll get back to you. All right, guys. There's a nice little stretch there, but no fish. But here we are back in some more rapids, so. I think the water's just a little too high for this today, but we're gonna make do of it. I mean, it'll be a shorter day. I'm good at making excuses, ain't I? Well, with the water being high, one good thing is I'm going right through these. I'm not even touching bottom. <sighs> I don't know. All I know is it is beautiful. I've seen ducklings. I've seen muskrat. Um, uh, just haven't seen no fish yet. Uh, I'm sure if I'd be looking, I'd be seeing eagles. So... One thing I didn't see was a road. This is a pretty remote stretch of river here. Um, out of that 12 miles, I'd say probably six of it isn't doesn't even have a road next to it. So, that's pretty weird. We got like a, I guess someone had a fire there and burned that root. That's pretty wild. Well, I hope that this doesn't make the video and it's not a uh, sightseeing kayak tour, but it is what it is, and I'm having fun. I'm getting to see a stretch of river I've never seen before and often wondered about, so, and I'm, I'm not even into it yet, so I'm getting discouraged for no reason. I mean, I, I still got a lot of day left here. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting that last stretch where I fish, so we'll see what happens. Bonus water. It looks like we got something. It's always we get these nice spots right right at the top of a rapid. But, uh, I think I'm going to try to get duck in and fish this edge here. So, All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm not liking this one at all. I had a pretty big pucker up moment on the last one. All right, so we're gonna try to skirt around here. Boom, boom. Yeah, 
we're going to rake throw it. Woo! So much for a plan, huh? For the record, I have flipped my kayak and lost all my gear before, so I'm not the smartest person ever. Um, <laughs> yeah, I flipped my kayak about a year and a half ago. This kayak, I flipped it in a similar situation to that. And uh, I lost all my gear. So, all right. Just so you guys can see what I'm dealing with here. Um, we get, finally get to a stretch where it's decent water, but the wind is just, I'm sure you guys can hear it in there. The wind is just whipping me around. And the, the water is so high, I gotta keep, I can't really trust. I gotta keep my eyes open because there are uh, rocks and everything, so. I really gotta pull over and uh, empty this kayak out for the next rapids because I'm sitting pretty low right now. Uh, where's my spot? Where's my spot? All right, guys, I'll get back to you. Well, guys, I figured I'd show you this. Um, this is a campsite some people that float the river been using. Um, I had to drain my kayak. I get uh, I get to them rapids, I start getting water and I start getting a little top heavy and then, uh, not to mention I'm sitting in water. So, trying to slow this down. Um, I don't know what, I don't know what's going on. Um, I know one thing I'm doing is I'm battling the river too much. Um, I just think the flow's too much still. Um, and I don't, I don't really don't have a gauge. Um, I know I've been through uh, two sketchy rapids so far, and uh, I don't know if I like that. Um, I think if this water drops a foot I mean you could see the grass and stuff is all growing we're, we're a good uh we're a good foot high still I know it's making for a fast float I'm probably halfway point already without a fish in the boat all right guys i'm gonna try to fix that um i figured i'd show you this little cool campsite um as far as i know there's no road around here um there's a road way up over the top of the hill here but uh i i don't know if there's a trail that comes down here or not to this um i'd have to pull my phone out and look it up on the mountain and see that uh all right i hope this water changes i hope it uh hope we get into some slack water like i like i'm used to fishing down around where i am but um i don't know man i cannot i cannot get a, more than a cast in on a spot so i'm gonna try casting right here all right let me get back to you what's up everybody so just finished took a, end up taking a lunch here at this campsite um, kayaks all loaded ready to go um, I'm a little more than halfway through this float and uh, I, I don't know it, it's turning into um, I'm not catching no fish but I, I want to share this because I think it's pretty cool so um, I guess I got to start video and some of the cool stuff I'm seeing so um, I'm I hate to say I'm switching gears, but um, I'm going to be a little bit more ready on the camera than the fishing a little bit here. Um, 
I got some rapids and stuff, so we could we could do some stuff to do rapids, some uh, maybe some time lapse here. But um, yeah, uh, I, I don't know what to make of this. Uh, they're here. I just can't figure them out. Um, we'll have to do it again. That's all that matters. I'll, I'll definitely float this again. So let me get on the water and uh, I'll catch you later. All right, I don't know what to make of this one. I don't see it. Uh, this is the XYZ Rapids. All right, here we do it. I think they're the last rapids. I hope so. I'm, I'm, I'm really fed up with the rapids. I ain't gonna lie, I pucker up every rapid. All right, guys, let me see if I can get some fish now, finally. All right, guys, we got a nice fish. Bam, in the net. They got the three pounder, guys. Man, that's a nice fish. That's, I'm gonna say, that's my personal best small moth right there, guys. Man, he's a slob. All right. Well, of course, everything's gonna get tangled. Kayak fishing is so fun.
Oh no, that's that's a done phone. All right, guys. All right, guys. Um, here he goes. We're gonna call him Three Pines. Um, he, I think he cost me my cell phone. So, here we go on the release. All right, my cell phone fell in the river, and I had to grab it. So let me see what happened to that. I'll get back to you. All right, guys, so where I'm at in my drift is um, this is about as far up as I'll paddle. So um, I did catch the big one, probably about two miles up. Um, just typical, I'm just trying to. If you can hear that wind, it's just. lucky if you get a retrieve on it with but where I'm able to get a couple retriever on decent drift I'm catching fish it's just I can't um, it won't make up its mind I mean it wants to be on that shore so bad and unfortunately I can't go on that shore because of things like this I actually like I actually prefer to moving water I have more problem with just a wind in a lake than I do if it wasn't blowing 15 miles an hour wind would be all right would be able to oh, check this out here we go this is cool all right on this rock right out here see that turtle I don't know if you've seen him but that was pretty cool This is the this is the stretch I want to fish right here. So let's see what I can get in here. Uh, I'll get back to you. 